Hi and welcome to my maths class. Today we are going to discuss how a graph shifts. Now from your previous work of grade 11, you know that when we have an equation, whether it's ax squared, whether it's a parabola, ax minus p all squared, plus q plus q, whether it was an exponential graph, the q always moved our graph up or down. If you had an exponential graph, it would be f of x is equal to 2 to the power of x plus 2, immediately saying that my graph moved up 2 or down 2. If I said 2 to the power of x minus 2, then it meant that your graph went down 2. So the effects of our q always moved our graph up or down. What was the effects of our p? Our p always moved our graphs left or right. Now this you wouldn't see so much in the standard algebraic graphs except parabola, but where you would have seen it a lot is in your trigonometry, where if I had x minus 30 degrees, then it meant that my graph moved 30 degrees towards the right. If I had x plus 30, then it meant my graph moved 30 degrees towards the left. Always the x was opposite to, or to its original sign. The reason is because the equation has a negative. So if I said x, x minus 2 all squared, it meant that from the original graph with 0 and 0, I am now going to go turn, I am at 0 and 0, I am now going to turn at 2 and 0. Can you see? So P always moved it right and left and Q always moved it up and down. Let's look at the following equation. F of x is equal to 2 to the power of x minus 4. Now, they are giving you the following graphs. F of x and then they are telling us g of x is a parabola. Determine the equation of the parabola g of x. Now they give us a turning point and they give us a point. You know that since g of x is a parabola, the equation is y is equal to a x minus p all squared plus q. If you are not familiar on how to get the equation of a graph for a parabola, you need to go over your grade 11 work and understand the section before continuing with the grade 12 work. Now we have our turning points. Our turning points is 2 and 0 which means I'm going to have a x minus 2 all squared plus 0. Then I am going to substitute a point given y is 2 and then we have x as 3 minus 2 all squared plus 0. That would give us 3 minus 2 is 1, 1 squared is 1, so we have a is equal to 2. So the equation of our parabola is g of x is equal to 2 open brackets x minus 2 all squared. Now look at the next question. They are telling us determine the equation of h of x if h of x is equal to f of x plus 4. How do we do this? We are going to write h of x is equal to f of x plus 4. What is f of x? f of x is 2 to the power of x minus 4. That is f of x. So wherever f of x is, I am putting 2 to the power of x minus 4. Then I have an adjustment which is plus 4. So what is the equation of h of x? h of x is now 2 to the power of x and then we have minus 4 plus 4 which would cancel each other out giving us 2 to the power of x. So h of x now equals to 2 to the power of x minus 4 plus 4. So what they would do in every exam you would notice that if they give us graphs that are not originally a to the power of x or b to the power of x because inverse graphs are limited only to and a to the power of x form, they always would give us a different graph but then they would eventually bring it back to the form of a to the power of x. Now they say get the inverse of hx. 
h of x. Now what is inverse? Inverse means may make x y and y x. If it's an exponential, you should immediately know that the inverse is going to be a log. So we have h of x is equal to 2 to the power of x. Making x y and y x, we've got x is equal to 2 to the power of y. We know we cannot leave it in this form because y must always be the subject of the formula. I'm going to have log, my base is 2, my power is now x, and I have y. So I have log base 2x is equal to y. So our inverse is equal to log base 2x. Now let's look at the next type. It says if g of x shifts 2 units to the left, what would the equation be? Label it k of x. Now we've worked out that g of x is 2 open brackets x minus 2 all squared. g of x is equal to 2 open brackets x minus 2 all squared. Now they are telling us that g of x moves 2 units to the left. Now when the equations move to the left or right, it is usually with the x that we are fiddling and it is the p. It is related to the p. So we know now we are going to affect this specific area. We have 2 open brackets x minus 2 which is the standard equation that's already there. But if it's moving 2 units to the left, left tends to be negative for the x. It works in opposite so I'm going to add 2. So now what do I have? They said to label it k of x so I have k of x is now going to equal to 2x squared. Again, why would they now try and bring it down to 2x squared? Because for inverse graphs, they are limited to to ax squared graphs. They cannot go more than this. So when they give you a graph that is not within this range, then they will move it so that it comes to that value. Now they say calculate the inverse of k of x and state the restrictions to make it a function. We know that if I have y is equal to 2x squared, to make it an inverse, x must become y and y must become x. But we have to make y the subject, so we divide by 2, so we have x over 2 is equal to y squared, we then going to root it. So we have x over 2 rooted is equal to y. But we also know that this is not a function. From your previous work for parabolas, you know that the restrictions is always from the negative infinity to the turning points and from the turning points to the infinity. The same rule applies. What is the turning point? Look at the original graph, but now remember the original graph is not what is in the drawing. Because this is not the inverse. You're not doing the inverse of this graph. You are doing the inverse of y is equal to 2x squared. Now what is the turning points of y is equal to 2x squared? It is 0, 0. We know it's a happy graph. So that is the graph for y is equal to 2x squared. Our turning points for p and q is clearly 0 and 0. Answering the question, the question says, state the restrictions to make it a function. Now the restrictions always come from the original graph. So our restrictions would be from minus infinity to 0, round brackets for infinity, and 0 square brackets, and then from 0 to infinity. Negative infinity to 0, 0 to infinity. So these are the restrictions for the parabola in order to make it a function. Thank you for watching.